The day is almost over for most residents in Rio de Janeiro, but not for 64-year-old Maria Lucia Nunes. She's leaving home after an eight-hour workday with her school backpack. During the day, she's a cleaning lady at a coffee shop, but at night, she sits in a classroom to learn how to read and write. Maria Lúcia is enrolled in Brazil's program for the illiterate, EJA, Educação para Jovens e Adultos, Education for Youth and Adults. Words, syllables, and making the connection between them are some of the basic skills she hopes to master as quickly as possible. She shares an all too common story. She was given up for adoption and put to work since she was a child. Mulher, né? É discriminada pela sociedade. She is a woman, a senior citizen, poor and illiterate, facing all types of discrimination. But we are trying to tackle this problem because people are living longer and they want to go ahead, but it's not easy. Maria Lúcia is ashamed about her illiteracy. She asks not to be filmed at work. But here, in the classroom, she feels at home. According to the 2022 school census, 900,000 Brazilians over 40 are learning how to read and write at public schools like this one. It takes both determination and hard work. She lives for free in the house of a former employer and takes care of all the domestic chores. It is never too late because I don't want to depend on others anymore. I must ask neighbors or even strangers to help me pay bills at the bank, do everything basically. I want to move on. By the end of this year, the 64-year-old says she hopes she'll finally be able to read and write to continue her studies and later become a computer technician to understand today's world, no matter how long it takes. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.